everyone i welcome you all in science class students students today we are going to revise chapter number 15 the name of this chapter is changes in our environment so let's revise this chapter changes in our environment means environment if i particular uh, particularly say what is an environment environment is basically our surrounding our physical surrounding that is called environment right this environment consists of certain living things non living things certain non living thing right and they both interact with each other when they both interact with each other it forms they form a system and this system is known as ecosystem this system is known as ecosystem right now if i talk about uh, the days uh, means in uh, days which is in earlier time that uh, that the means uh, if i talk about the environment there in earlier time the environment all was totally great there was no there was no pollution the houses were very ventilated well ventilated there were very less gadget less vehicles on the road right and they are people are very active and there were very less diseases at that time also means the people suffered with very less diseases right but as the human interfered into the surrounding the things got changed the atmosphere get changed right if i compare today nowadays if i compare uh, the air is so much polluted right uh so you can also um, mark some point you can also write uh, some points which you have observed now a days right and uh, all these thing means pollution rise in temperature it cause us uh, so means because of this the human life life get affected very much now if you observe this picture what you have seen you will see a house that is made up of glass so such kind of house is called a green house where the plants grow specially in winter why the farmer grow plants in such type of houses let's discuss about that so if somebody ask you define green house then what you will say a green house is a glass house where we grow plants specially during winter so in green house why the plant, uh, plants have been grown in the uh, glass house because the climate in the glass house is very appropriate for the plants right why because this glass because this glass means when the sun rays will come inside the glass it warm the house and this glass do not allow the heat to escape out right so the temperature inside the glass house get maintained right first point the plant get the appropriate temperature moist air and because of that plant grow well in the greenhouse next topic is greenhouse gases as you know that the earth is earth this is the earth surface as you know that the earth surface is covered by a thick blanket and that thick blanket that you uh, that is in the blue color that is called atmosphere atmosphere is the thick blanket of air right and it is made up of five different layers that we have already read in previous chapter so this air as you know uh, air is a mixture of gases right there are certain other gases which is responsible to trap the heat right so what are those gases let's discuss those gases are first one is carbon dioxide second is nitro nitrous oxide third methane and uh, fourth one is water vapor so these are the gases which is uh, also called greenhouse gases because it traps the heat it do not allow the heat to go outside the uh, earth surface means once the heat comes this gases do not allow the heat to escape out right if in the exam if i ask name the greenhouse gases so what you will answer carbon dioxide nitrous nitrous oxide methane and water vapor these are called greenhouse 
gases right when the uh, when these gases do not allow the heat to escape they warm up the earth means the temperature of the uh, earth will get rise and this effect is known as greenhouse effect when the when the temperature get rise due to the greenhouse gases this effect is known as greenhouse effect right so i hope you have understood this topic that's it for today thank you and have a nice day ahead